So last night in Germany, or this morning in Germany, Power Ranger Beast Morphers aired the final two episodes back to back, and within hours, within minutes, spoilers about the final two episodes were online thanks to Power Rangers Now. So just a heads up, this video is going to contain spoilers about what happens in the Power Ranger Beast Morphers finale, and we're just going to go over the main bullet points that they brought up in their little um, tweet and in their little review. I'm not going to go over the full episode in detail, I'm going to leave that for the review once the episodes air in Australia within the next week or two, so I'll go into full detail about what happens in the finale once I have my reviews out, but hearing what happens in the finale brings up some good questions moving forward. Where is Power Ranger Beast Morphers going to go in Season 2? And that's what we're going to have this Season 2 discussion, or this spoiler talk, moving forward for Power Ranger Beast Morphers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, click away right now, Thanks for watching. I've got plenty of other Power Ranger related content on the channel for you guys to check out, but if you want to be spoiled for the finale of Beast Morphers, don't go anywhere, we're getting right into it now. So first big spoiler we're going to talk about is Evox gets destroyed, and this is probably going to upset a lot of fans because Evox was built up so much through Power Ranger Beast Morphers, and in the finale he gets destroyed. Now they don't tease if he's going to come back next season, well they sort of do, but we don't know the answer entirely, and a lot of fans are upset that we're going to have another Galvanic situation where they hyped up this villain for an entire season, and he gets destroyed in the finale, so that's going to suck for a lot of people who are big Evox fans. I get the feeling that Evox is gone but not forgotten, because Evox is a virus, and if you know what computer viruses do, they are like Trojan horses, they can hide in other files, they can hide in other programs. They're not gone completely unless you wipe the system entirely and remove it, and even if you do that, some of the virus can survive and sneak aboard in your system and still be around on your computer causing all kinds of havoc. So, because Evox is a virus, I get the feeling he's not gone yet. Evox isn't out of the picture entirely just yet. Next thing we're going to discuss is Blaze and Roxy in Season 2. Blaze and Roxy have their avatars destroyed in the two-part finale, making them awaken from their slumber, their avatars are gone, they're rescued, things are all back to normal. They wrapped up that plotline in a nice little bow for Season 1 of Beast Morphers, which is pretty good. They didn't leave it hanging on a two-season thing, they wrapped up that storyline in a neat little bow. But where are those characters going to go moving forward? That's the question everyone's asking. What's going to happen to Blaze and Roxy? I mean... Blaze was a bit of a jerk, but like I said in one of my predictions, maybe Blaze will be more forgiving to Devon because Devon became a hero. He rose to the occasion and he saved Blaze, so maybe Blaze will have some kind of respect for Devon for saving him, but who knows if he's going to turn evil again or not. I have no idea. Maybe they'll use the different um, Enter costume for a brand new villain entirely, who knows, but... What purpose are Blaze and Roxy going to have moving forward? Because those two were some amazing villains because they were human, they were not people in costumes. You got to see their expression on their face, just the way they talk and spoke. Those villains are going to be hard to top in Season 2 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers, so fingers crossed, I really do hope they turn evil again because um, the actors for Blaze and Roxy were some of my favourite actors in Power Ranger Beast Morphers, and I really do hope they turn evil again because they really knew how to act evil with their expressions and just the way Blaze would shout Tronics was like a really cool quote. I mean, it's a bit of a meme, just the way he shouts it, like a fun meme, not a mean meme, but just a fun little meme just the way he shouts and poses when he does it. But just those two characters were really cool and I hope they stick around in season two and they're not and they're not gonna become side characters like, hey, we're off at the gym hanging out, we're gonna help you on some occasions. Like, I want them to become evil again. Do you get what I'm saying? I want Blaze and Roxy to become evil again in Season 2. That's all I'm asking. Don't make them boring side characters in Season 2. Make them more active, please, Hasbro, whatever you're doing with those characters. Next up, we're talking about Mayor Daniels. I know, a weird character to talk about in the finale, but in the finale, he goes into the cyber dimension. He just rushes in there to save Devon. If you haven't heard my plot synopsis, go check it out. It's also a bit spoilery as well, but not as spoilery as this video, but he rushes into the cyber dimension to save Devon, and being in there has a weird side effect on his body. I haven't read the synopsis into great details because I still want to go into 
the finale blind, but not too blind, if you know what I mean. So what happens to Mad Daniels, he starts glowing purple, and if you see the screenshots that Power Rangers now is posting, I'm not going to post the screenshots, because Hasbro will be very upset with me if I do post those screenshots in the video. Even for a second, they'll be mad at me. So, Mad Daniels has this weird glowing thing around his hand. He's glowing purple for some reason, and a lot of fans are speculating, including myself, he might be infected by Evox. Evox somehow maybe attached himself to the purple glowingness and Mayor Daniels is going to be some sort of weird vessel for Evox or Evox is going to somehow attach himself to the weird purple glowing light. I don't know. It's a weird glowing effect that he's got going on. No idea. We'll find out in Season 2 and if it means anything more in the finale. I can't really read too much into it just by reading a bunch of text. Once I see the finale in a few weeks, I'll definitely know what I'm talking about to speculate better. And last thing we're going to talk about with this finale is Betty. Betty gets warped into the cyber dimension and she has these weird elastic Mr. Fantastic Four powers where she can stretch her body and people are speculating, Power Rangers now is speculating and I'm going to speculate as well. Do these powers lead to her becoming the Green Ranger? Now if you don't remember, I made a video talking about it a long time ago, like not a long time ago, a few months ago, where there was a tweet that was leaked out or accidentally got leaked out, where someone said Betty is going to become the Green Ranger down the line, and the tweet was quickly deleted, I talked about it in the video, and this could make sense, Betty might have some sort of powers that could lead her to becoming the Green Frog Ranger or the Green Beast Moth Ranger. I don't know entirely, I get the feeling that Betty's um, elastic powers is going to wear off once season 2 starts. She's going to be like, hey, where'd your powers go, Betty? I don't know, I woke up and they just stopped. Um, I get the feeling that might happen, like the powers were like a gimmick because she's comic relief. She's going to have them for a little bit and then they're just going to stop. But if they do stick around, it will be very, very interesting. I get the feeling there'll be more gags with Ben and Betty if she has these elastic powers. But if she does become the Green Ranger, that will also be very interesting moving forward if those rumors and speculations were true. But anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up the spoiler talk for Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 1. What do you guys think of this finale? What do you think is going to happen in this finale? What do you think is going to happen moving forward in Season 2? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinion. Tell me in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, drop a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button because I know you guys aren't hitting the sub button. I've looked at my analytics. 85% of you guys are not subbed to the channel. And that's really cool if you're brand new and discovering this channel. But it would mean a lot to me if you hit that sub button for more Power Ranger content. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or night or afternoon. I'll see you guys around in the next video. I'll probably see you guys for my episode 19 review. Anyway, guys, just take care of yourself. Peace out and bye.